Hey guys, Dylan Short here with Three Irons Horse and Cattle Co. So today we got Sky back up here, uh, the six-year-old filly we got in to kind of restart, had a little handling when she was younger. If you hadn't seen the saddling video or any other videos, go check it out. We're kind of using her to demonstrate a lot of things. But So today, once we already got her saddled now, we're going to talk about letting one go in the round pin for the first time, which is usually what I do. After I saddle them, I let them go and let them work out whatever problems they have with the saddle and things. I, I try not to rush it. Um, I don't want to scare them into bucking or anything like that. Just let them start moving around and feeling it. You know, she's been saddled before. I, I don't think she's going to throw a big fit or anything like that, but I'm going to show you how I would handle one being saddled and let go for the first time. So, First and foremost here, I'll take my halter off set it on the rail here and I usually just kind of let them go I don't really get too concerned about where they're going how fast or anything like that I got my flag here with me just in case she's to start bucking and wanting to come at me which I doubt will happen but sometimes it, it does occur and to keep them from coming at me I can get kind of big with it but so right there she moved off real fine. I'm not going to chase her around here. I'm not concerned about what speed she's going or anything like that right now as long as she's learning to be drove by me around this round pin. Like I said, a lot of times people can get in here and immediately start wanting to chase them into the lope and you can actually cause one to buck that way and just scare them into it. So. First and foremost, I'm looking for her to relax more than anything versus versus just chasing her through her gates. So we we'll let her, let them work it out naturally and get comfortable with the saddle instead of forcing it. And she's doing all right here. And I may try to just ease her into the lope here if she's trotting. biggest deal here is I'm not going to chase her. There she tried and I stopped because she was thinking about it. I was smooching using my flag and she thought about going to the lope so I released. There it is. Typically in this round pen I want to take their energy levels up and down. It gives them a release. It lets them know there's a light at the end of the tunnel here. I'm not just in here chasing them in mindless circles. I'm really kind of looking for her to start getting her mind on me. Be relaxed. And just work this saddle around a little bit. So if she stops here, that's okay. But I'd rather her stop and try to start thinking about facing me. So I just kind of send her off there again. She wants to change eyes there. I'm not real picky about that right now. We'll work on that later. I'll just use it as an opportunity to go ahead and take her through her gates on this side. Taking a little longer on this side to figure out what I want, but there it is. She thought about it there. I don't know if this filly's ever been worked in the round pen, so I'm kind of treating her like she's never been that way. So if she kind of starts thinking about what I want her to do, well, I'll go ahead and release, and I'll just build on it over time. There we go. There. The biggest deal about that trot to lope transition, that's usually the one where they want to buck and run off and this first time I really don't oh she turned into me that's just real good that's what we're looking for that's a good release she thought about looking me up and getting a release from pressure that's good so I stepped away there and let her get a break but we'll let her figure this out here 
you really want to get them coming in on both sides but you can see her ear tilted to me a little bit every now and then that inside ear right there and the biggest deal oh right there so so right there she turned into me and I'd give her a release so I'm wanting her to learn that I can drive her around this round pen and then she kind of can release and come to me for comfort to get a break. I want her to start looking me up and searching me out for comfort and finding confidence in being with me.